How about this for a flop, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, good lay down, mate. Oh, no. Strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen. He does announce all in. Fades the snap call. Take a bow. What's up, poker fans? Welcome back to another Black Cash Poker video, where we bring you the best highlights and moments of the most entertaining poker events. Before getting into it, we would like to ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our videos, as your support is allowing us to continue posting videos consistently. Red with the pocket queens in the hijack, 25 bigs. is one of the shortest stacks at the table. But he won't mind getting involved here. I think it's... I think it's a fold. Dice, yeah. Yeah, good lay down, mate. Oh, no. Omar Eljak has woken up with aces on the button. Can you believe the sickness of this dealer? Ten hands in to the final table. And we have one of the sickest setups possible in poker. Riyad tables the queens and gets shown the aces. Well, ace, high, flop. Gonna be tough this time round. We're drawing to run a run a Broadway. Three spades on the turn, and he is dead. Fist bumps all round from Alexander Riyad. Okay, say GL GL Barney, old school. Will Pose Cavaccio, FTW year of Romania. Oh, Boatman after letting go of the ace jack. Looks that at the aces. Let's see if anyone behind wakes up with something deep. Wants to get involved, wants to tango on the button. Queen Jacko, the blinds are going to get out of the way. Heads up to a flop. OG UK Pro against OG American Pro. And it's Queen Jack. Four, two spades. Strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen. Sean Deeb has flopped top two. Boatman with the overpair. And this could potentially be a chip lead pot, depending on how this runs out. Deeb flattened the Queen Jacko on the button after chip leader Omar Eljak got out of the way. 1.7 out there. Price of poker has just gotten more expensive. Thebes made it 1.4. 1 1.4. Three and a half X. Barney obviously not going to go anywhere just yet. With his aces. I'm all in. No. Barney ships it in the middle. Deeb with the snap call chat. This is a chip lead pot. Close. Five of hearts on the turn for the OG of UK poker. An ace, a four, or a five needed. Seven of spades, not gonna cut it. Barney Boatman. <laughs> Bows out in seventh place. Queens for the Vladiator. And well, Adrian in the small with Jax. It's been cooler after cooler at this final table. Kings Resort regular cutting out a three bet from the small. Looks like 1.7 million. And that's with the relatively quick jam for 4.4 million. So 18 big blinds a piece for both these players. The four deuce rainbow. Not even running cards for Adrian. 
needs a jack and a jack only to eliminate Tamas. Otherwise, he's going to be down to 12 bigs. It's going to be the shortest stack left at this final table. No dice. Eight of diamonds. It does just jam. It's going to say, like, limping doesn't make sense. Don't think you have many raise falls off of the Apex. Wow. Omar's woken up with Ace Queen. Snap call. What is going on today, chat? Can find an ace or a queen, and well, there's an ace in the window. Reze looking for running straight cards. Well, one of the two remaining Jackson with the three of diamonds on the turn. Him sixth in EPT Prague earlier on this year. It's going to come sixth at the World Series of Poker Europe in Rosvodov. Main event. Thomas getting through the two players that can send him packing. And Adrian has woken up with King Queen in the big. Thomas with the two and a half X open from the cutoff. Adrian is the shortest stack. Quite some margin. Does have fold equity. Potentially fold out some ace highs. Can Adrian get there? Four of diamonds on a turn, no help. It's the eight of clubs. Double paired board. Handshakes all round. Get some GGs in the chat. It's four handed. How about this for a flop, ladies and gentlemen? 1.8 in the middle, Jack 7, 3, 2 clubs. Tamas with top pair. Eljack with 8 high clubs. And Sean D with the nut flush draw. Action flop. Quarter pot. up two customers 2.9 in the middle uh, setting the price himself eight of hearts on the turn giving Eljack a pair of eights D picking up a gut shot to go along with his nut flush draw okay. 2.9 in the middle Tamas, the effective stack, playing 11 million. He is reaching for chips. Those are calling chips from the Lithuanian. Vladas. Going to get out of their discipline fold. And it bricks out. Deuce of diamonds on the river. I feel like... You'd rather bluff with ace nine of hearts than ace nine of clubs. Wow. Sean D has gone all in on the river. Is being asked the question for his tournament life. On the deuce of diamonds river. Overbet jammed, might I add. Everyone going absolutely insane. He does make the fold and Sean Deeb back up to 26 million. Show the bluff? No. <laughs> no. Show the 10 of clubs. <laughs> Vladas asking him to show the bluff. 10 of clubs. Those final eight bigs. Just give it here for free. Jacks against the ace queen of Omar. And our fifth place finisher, Kings Resort regular, Paul Adrian Kovacu, out in fifth for 321,000 euros.
Beep just doesn't take a day off, does he? No more betting 500k into 800. Deep with the two overs and the nut gut shot. Makes it 1.7 to go. Six of clubs on the turn. This board just getting worse for Omar now. See if Deep fires again here. 1.2 in the middle. Chat, he is reaching for chips. More than half pot, 2.6 into 4.2. Elzek going to get out of there. Sean Deeb up to 30 million now. Does make the call. Cards on their backs. <laughs> Tamas, the all in player at risk, but he does have the best of it. Wow, Ocho in the window. Queen 10 8. Pastore flops bottom set. No need. That doesn't change too much. Tamas with the gut shot. Queen on the turn. It's not over. Deuce of hearts. Not going to cut it. Man right there. Omar Eljak who has woken up in the big blind with a potential four bet spot. Pastore with the three bet from the small. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. I told you, you know... There's ever going to be a huge collision. These are the three guys. Seven point four million in the middle does have fold equity as well. If he have to find the jam, he does announce all in. Fades the snap call. Take a bow, Pastore. Chat, what is going on today? What is going on? I might have had a better turn, I don't know. Maybe not. Won it back in October as well for 1.25 million. Heads up. His fifth bracelet. Eight won some $560 tournament continental poker championships in Verona for 14k. Fast forward 14 years, looking now, Keep turning trips. Pastore not gonna go anywhere with his gut shot and ace height. I'd say I blame him, especially given that he's up against Sean Deep. And how about a deuce of diamonds on the river? No reason for Sean to slow down. Feel like he can still get enough value. King X and three X hands. Comes with two thirds, 2.2 .2 into 3.1. Story just double checking his whole cards. Five hundred K chips. Oh, 
6.3 million. Deep doesn't like it. Pocket fives. Reasonable. Pocket sixes. Maybe. Just call those things. Oh. Deep not one to tank. You know when he's in the tank, it's a legit tough spot. Apologies if it ends up being a slow roll. <laughs> he's apologizing in advance if it ends up being a slow roll. The trip falls. He's already said on several occasions that there are plenty of hands that he beats. It just doesn't feel like Pastore ever has bluffs in this spot. The chips have gone back onto the stack. Good. Wow, chat. Oh, my word. Sean Deeb. Sean That's Deeb, fun, ladies man. and gentlemen. Jack, the limp from the small deep. Minute 3.3x with the A7. Omar. Three handed play has not been treating Omar Eljak too kindly. Let's come. King, seven, deuce. Top and bottom for Sean Deeb. Strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen. Fourteen bracelets already awarded here at Kings. It's the last bracelet of 2022. Eight of diamonds on the turn, so Deeb now drawing to just five outs. Three aces and two sevens to win him the hand. Eljack going small, small, wants to play this hand across three streets. Gone with a sizing that would set up a very natural river SPR of around 0.6. Yeah, I think this is more likely to get paid off, I agree. Completely different spot compared to the previous hand. 18 million in the middle. Nine of diamonds on the river. Eljak with the non all in sizing, announcing eight million. Sean B bet three. Streets for Valley on the previous hand. Pastore rivered him. And number 328. And he makes the call. Get shown top and bottom. And Omar Eljak is the new chip leader. Omar Queen 3 from the small. Gonna move all in. Deeb with the ace jack. Makes the call for his final 13 and a half bigs. <laughs> Getting it in good here for 11 million to get right back into the mix. Well, 7 4 Trey. We're going to be heads up for the World Series of Poker Europe main event bracelet. Ace Jack or a 4 needed. No, you didn't fall on ace at least. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to lose Sean Deeb in third as Sean Deeb bows out in third for a third time. Chat, we are heads up. 
852,949 euros guaranteed for both these players. A career best score for both these players. Jonathan Pastore said earlier on. And number one of heads up play, 954, two hearts, one spade. Pastore with the ill time check raise. Elshak with middle pair and a flush draw. Well, Pastore has somehow found the seven of spades on the turn. But saying, why did he say he doesn't care about the money? I think it's not that he doesn't care about the money, but what he's trying to say is that the bracelet means more for him. You know, won a bracelet this summer in the 5K6 max to win two No Limit Hold'em bracelets. 16 million in the middle, straight off the bat. Somehow 16 million in the Check. middle. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> First hand of heads up play. Yeah, deep is out, ladies and gentlemen. Third place finish for the third time this series for Sean Deep. Three bet par, Eljek has flopped, nut trips. Story going to continue for just 20% pot. Obviously, Eljak going nowhere. 10 million in the middle already. I know we're playing around 100 effective chat. Going to continue for half pot. Fires out a bet. 5 million into 10 million. The deuce of spades turn. Biggest part of heads up play. 20 million in the middle. Pastore drawing dead. Does not want to see a spade on the river. Unblocking ace high. And he's going to fire a third barrel, ladies and gentlemen. 20 million in the middle. Omar Eljak flopping nut trips with his ace seven of clubs and he's got the purest of runouts. Eljak is about to have a three to one chip lead. Twenty-four. He comes for the river race to twenty-four million. That's brutal, chat. We've all been there, running a monster bluff. Posturing here from Pastore. Huge part for Omar Eljak to regain the chip lead, but not only has he regained it. <laughs> Looking at Pastore's hand and mob. Hasn't been around for too long. Already has that bracelet. Both players currently guaranteed 852,949. Make it 8 million to go, chat. Oh, 
Oljak's going to make the call. 16 million in the middle, chat. If the flop comes queen high. Could have an all-in and a call. King, six, deuce. Both players brick. Four-bet pot. Super narrow ranges. Expect to see a small continuation from Pastore. 2.5 million into 16. And my Jack. Going anywhere, 21 million in the middle. Well, the nine of spades on the turn gives Omar four more outs going to the river. SPR 0.5. Oh my word ladies and gentlemen Pastore checking back on the turn the ten of diamonds has rolled off on the river giving Omar Eljak the nut straight unfortunately for him Pastore with just ace high Healing range, the floating range. Eljak. It's going to be pretty wide. Pretty much every backdoor combo is going to peel against that size. Ace three, ace four, ace five of hearts, of clubs. Ace jack of clubs, ace jack of hearts, and Pastore does eventually make the fold. <laughs> Jack with the flush draw. A story with two pair. Well, King of Diamonds rolling off on the turn. Jack not going to slow down. One point eight. Well, we know Pastore is not going to be folding now. It's rivered a pair and a ton of showdown. Yeah, Pastore on, with less than pot behind. Jack deep in the tank here. Does make the call and Pastore tables of the flush for a full double. But they've just managed to avoid each other. frequency and pick a lot of trash if you think you want to have your calling range be stronger like there no one's a uh, four bet we haven't seen one four bet since I've been in here so if no one's four betting your three bet bluffs are just printing money Story with the check raise. Yeah, I think once you bet and get check raise here, it's really tough to continue. Kind of just got to tap the table, and he's called with so many draws. I don't think he's check raising, you know, 10x or jack x too often. 
Don't twist. What did I miss, Sean? Uh, the check raise got called, and now he's shoved for a little bit less than pot. Shack in the tank. But I'm sure Omar's thinking, like, you know, twice Pastor is shoved as a bluff, and he's seen it both times now. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, ah, oh, is this guy always just shoved? Yeah. Wow, he does make the call. And just like that, Pastore gets the full double. You get him fucking fired up and you get him a little feisty. And you're going to see some fucking jabs and some uppercuts, some body shots. I mean, we, look, it, we, we do need a new podcast to just go viral. Poker Twitter's died down a little bit over the last week or two. Uh, it, was, it was going off tonight. I was, was part. I was, I was fired up. Part of the reason I thought to go in commentary was uh, Savannah Hale uh, Rip's wife went on a tweet tangent about what a piece of shit Robbie is, and that she wanted to go on Joe Ingram to talk about it. She was tweeting at him, and I told Joe I was ready. And Joe's like, "I thought you were winning WSP main." I was like, "Nope, I'm out. Let's go fucking podcast." So definitely, we'll, we'll arrange something, mate. When you get back from uh, Tokyo, yep. Diving back into this modern day cooler, Omar with top pair on the Queen Jack six, Pastore with second pair. Yeah, but the Ada Hearts going to slow things down. That just seems to be the consistent theme of this it's heads just up the match. card kill, the action killer, yeah. 100%. Like, and then even worse River card, like, just going to go check, check, and. Yeah. The best hand's going to win, but there definitely were a lot of runoffs where a lot more chips went in. Oh, for sure. I mean, when Omar turned the flush, but then the ace paired the board on the river, just like Pastore yeah. shutting it down with the 10-9. There was just so many different spots where it could have ended. So I didn't watch it all. Was there any all-in on calls where someone was at risk? Uh, Pre or with a card to come? Yeah, with a card to come. No. Just River. Not a single time. It's crazy, man. Not a single time. Could this be it? Ooh, this could be the action hand, boys. Best over. They say it off. Elijah with Queens, three bets. Totally reasonable hand to rip. You know, sub 40 bigs. And deny that equity, pick up the, you know, seven, eight million in the pot. Wow, he announced his all in, Sean. He's getting snapped. Snap call from Omar Eljak, 64 million chip pot. <laughs> After an epic heads up match between these two. Ooh, he gets a little bit of equity. And now he's got two more outs with the eight. No back doors. Elijah has the back door spades. Don't come into play too often. But some. Oh, takes away two of those outs. 93% chance for Omar. On the turn. A Sweden going to close it out here in Rosvedov. They are oh, indeed. Wow. What a celebrate. They <laughs> are indeed. And Omar Eljak, after six hours of heads up play, can finally go over to his wet rail and celebrate. Take it out. There you go. And let's hold it up so they can see it.